Beautiful. Congrats. We have finally arrived at the last step. And essentially in here, we want to set up the instructions, ingredients and tools. But before we do that, there's actually a tiny typo here where notice the recipe info. It's not recipe info it should be recipe hero. Now, of course, my text is gray. And essentially, I'm looking here for 600. And now everything is just like in the final project. And we'll start in a single recipe. And you know what? In this case, I'll collapse the hero just so it's not in a way. And we're looking for recipe content. That's the one we want to set up. And here we'll have two column layout. Therefore, inside of the section first, I want to set up that article. And then there's going to be another article. And since I was lazy, as far as the class names, I just set it up as second column. That's it. So in here in the second column, this is where we'll place the ingredients and the tools. But first, we'll worry about the instructions. So instructions, of course, are going to go in our first column. And I want to start with heading four. And we'll just say instructions. Then we'll set up a single instruction comment. And after that, let's go with div with the same class. So single and instruction. Now, inside of the div, if you take a look at the complete project, you'll notice this step and then the horizontal line. So that's going to be in our header. And then we'll have some kind of text. So let me start by getting this text here, just because I want to speed this up. So first, I'm going to set up the paragraph. But above the paragraph, there's going to be a header. And inside of it, we'll have another paragraph. And I'm going to go with step one. And then right next to it, we want to place a empty div. And yes, this div needs to be here. Now there's a million different ways how we can set it up. But in this case, I just went with extra HTML element. And once I have this single instruction, I just want to copy and paste. And let me take a look. I believe I have three. So let me just copy and paste one, two. Then we want to change the step. And this is going to be two. This is going to be three. And just to stay consistent, I'll also take this text and add in a step number two. And then the same thing for step number three. Of course, you can keep all of them the same. It doesn't really matter. Let me save it. OK, so I have step one, two and three. And then inside of the second column, this is where we want to set up the ingredients. And we also want to go with tools. Now, both of them are going to be in separate divs. So let's go with div inside of it. We're going to go with heading four and ingredients. Hopefully I can spell it correctly because that's usually an issue. And we're just looking for paragraph and we'll add a class of single ingredient. And then as far as the value again, yes, I know that it's probably annoying to some people, but we'll just copy and paste since I don't see the point of setting up everything from the scratch. And uh, what you want to do is just take this paragraph. So not the heading for just a paragraph with the same class. And you probably want to copy and paste at least in my case, I'm going to copy and paste this two times. And we just want to change these values around. So we want to select this one. And we want to do the same thing for the third one as well. And then the same goes for the tools. But of course, the difference is the class name, as well as the text. So we can copy and paste or we can set up everything from scratch. In this case, I think I'm going to go with setting up everything from scratch. So div, then heading for tools. And then let's go with paragraph. And let's add that class here. So class, and we're looking for single tool. And as far as the value, again, let's just take these ones, copy and paste. Once I have the first tool, I'm just going to copy and paste and essentially get those values. Once I have the HTML, now let's navigate to main CSS. And let's continue over here. First, we'll worry about the recipe content. So now, of course, I'm talking about the container where both the instructions and ingredients and tools are sitting because we'll have two column layout. So let's go here with a recipe, recipe hyphen content. And we're going to be looking for the padding, top bottom, three REMs, and then left and right zero. Then we want to go with display grid. So that's, of course, our small screen layout. And we'll set it up as gap, two REMs, 
four rows and five REMs for the columns. But of course, we only have the rows on a small screen. And then let's go with a media query. And if you want, of course, you can add it here as well. Just make sure that you move this media query below the recipe content. Otherwise, there's going to be a mess up. You know what? In my case, just stay consistent. I'm just going to copy and paste. And we're looking for recipe content. I want to go with grid template columns. And as far as the values, we'll go with two fractions. So that's for the first column. So that's for instructions. And then one fraction for the other value. So now if we go to the big screen, check it out. We have the instructions as well as ingredients and tools in the second column. And then slowly but surely, let's start working on those instructions. So we're looking for single instruction and then first i want to go with header and this is going to be a display grid so now of course i'm dealing with this step and the horizontal line that we cannot see yet as far as the setup is going to be grid template columns we're looking for auto one fraction so the step will have its height or i'm sorry its width and then the horizontal line is going to take up the rest i also want to add a little bit of gap and here i'm going to go 1.5 rems and since i want that horizontal line in the center we're going to go with align items and center let's save it the reason why we don't see anything is because we haven't styled that horizontal line so why don't we do that first let's go with single instruction then we're looking for the header and then more specifically a div and here let's go with height two pixels and background will be a gray one and i think i'm going to go with that 300 we have our single recipe that's good and we also have that horizontal line now there's still some things we need to add don't worry about it as long as you can see this horizontal line that means that we are moving in the right direction now i'm going to hop back to the header and more specifically the paragraph so we're looking for single instruction then we're looking for the header and instead of the div we're looking for the paragraph and in this case i want to go with text transform and we'll set it up as uppercase so now of course we're dealing with that step one two and three then let's go with font weight and we'll set it up as 600 okay and let's add right away a margin bottom to be zero so margin bottom zero and i also want to change the color and we'll set it up as primary 500 and once we save everything works and lastly when it comes to the instruction so this one over here i want to set up a different gray tone and in order to target that since i don't want to select this paragraph over here i'm just going to say single single instruction then header and then i'm just targeting the paragraph and you know what i actually need to remove this header my bad so basically i'm looking for the entire paragraph therefore i'll go single instruction and only the direct child of that instruction which is a paragraph will have that color and gray so I'll go here with color and we're looking for gray and i think i'm gonna go with 700 so now of course this one is a little bit lighter if you don't believe me you can actually set this up as 300 and you'll clearly see that i'm targeting the correct paragraph then we want to style the second column so let's keep moving We'll say second column and in this case there's not much to it we'll say display grid we're looking for grid in this case now i do want to add a row gap and that's going to be equal to two rems so that's the distance in between and now let's just target the single ingredient as well as single tool now when it comes to single ingredient so let me again make sure that i spell this correctly I'm looking for border bottom, so border bottom, and that's going to be two pixels solid, and we're looking for the gray one. So let's set up here var, and then we're looking for gray, and then 300. That's going to be the border. I also want to add a little bit of padding in the bottom, padding bottom 0.75 REMs, and then as far as the color, I'm going to go with that gray 700, and then the same goes for single tool. So single tool in here will go with the same border. So copy and paste. And the same goes for padding. So pretty much the same stuff, just the colors are going to be different. 
where I'm gonna go to color and I'm looking for my primary 500. And then as far as text, I just want to capitalize. So text transform and we'll set it up as capitalized. And once all of this is in place, we're done with the project. Congratulations. And I hope to see you in the next one.